To tell you the story of Japanese whiskey, we must go back to 1853. It all started with an American Commodore and his modern fleet of warship. His name was Commodore Matthew Perry. About 70 years later, in 1923, Masetaka Takutsoro and Shinjo Ritori were creating the very first Japanese whiskey distillery in Yamazaki, near Osaka. Today, almost 100 years after the creation of that distillery, Japanese distillery ranks amongst the best in the world. Let's go back many centuries before 1850. Traditional sake has been produced in the country for a very long time and Japanese are used to enjoy one drink or two. Some believe that the ancient culture of sake finds its roots in China around the year 500 BC. Back then, sake production was primitive and was involving villagers chewing and spitting cooked rice into a vat. Enzymes and human saliva were starting the fermentation process. Until 1853, Japan is almost sealed off. It is a no-go area for most foreigners. It is in that context that the first Perry mission arrives on the islands. Perry battleships and guns, soldiers, are turning the diplomatic effort into a real trade deal. To build up friendship, Perry has many gifts for the Emperor. One of them is a whiskey cask. It is the beginning of the Japanese love story for whiskey. Japan is quickly catching up with the West and is inflicting a heavy military defeat on Russia in 1905. The first distillery opens in 1923 and is the brainchild of two whiskey legends, Masetaka Taketsuru and Shinjiro Tori. The two men have different profile, different vision, and above all, different ambitions. Shinjiro Tori is a pragmatic businessman, he is an entrepreneur. Masetaka Taketsuru is a whiskey samurai and a highly trained chemist. Tori Sinjiro understands the rule of marketing and cost control. He's a commercial genius, he wants to create a great whiskey that is easy to sell in Japan. Masataka Taketsuru is a whiskey purist and devoted distillation expert. He wants to create perfect whiskey and for that he concentrates all his energy on quality alone. His knot will soon become the blueprint of the Japanese whiskey industry. Shinji Rotori has been trading since he was a child. He has a strong interest in the drink business. In 1921, it creates Kotobukiya. The company will soon hire Masataka. His job will be to design and run the very first Japanese distillery. If the project was highly motivating, at first, there are too many differences of opinion and too many differences of taste between Masataka and his employer. The firm wants a whiskey that is easy to drink for the local market. Masataka wants to create the ultimate whiskey. Masataka is removed from the distillery and sent to a beer factory. Unhappy, 
but fully committed, the first whiskey samurai will serve his employer for another 10 years. With the help of his British wife, Rita, Mazataka will create Nika in 1934. Nika is based in the northern part of Japan, in Yoshi, on the island of Hokkaido. Nika is very similar to an old school Scotch distillery and is producing whisky that have a strong character. A character that is shaped by the local cold climates and by the influence of the sea. After 10 long years working for others, Mazataka will realize his lifetime ambition create his own whisky. Today the world of Japanese whiskey is as rich and complex as a glass of anu. Located less than two hours from Tokyo, the Shishibu distillery is producing small batches. Each batch is unique and generally sells within minutes. The attention to details is meticulous and the whiskey tastes great. Whiskey bars are an essential part of the Japanese drink culture. They offer the possibility to try incredible whiskey by the glass. In Tokyo, the Compelton Lock is offering about 450 different whiskey to drink. Meet Tomiyuki Oka from the bar kitchen. Mr. Oka is a whiskey librarian and is looking after more than 3,000 different whiskies, all available on demand. 